What's up? Good morning. Man, I'm talking to y'all today a little bit. It's been a lot going on in this world. Um, I know it's been a little while since I've done the daily video. Um, that's on me. Um, but we've been caught up in a lot of other ministry stuff. Um, but I'm back. Long story short, I want to talk to y'all today about how miracles attract people, but they don't make them believe. And I want to give the example out of the book of John. It's a lot of scripture. I'm not going to read all the scriptures, so write the scriptures down. John chapter 11, verses 47 and 48. John chapter 12, verses 12 through 19. All right? And then John chapter 12, verses 37 through 50. All right? 1147. Let's go there. It says, Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him, and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. Now, the Pharisees and the chief priests believe that if they didn't kill Jesus or do something to him, get rid of him, all men will believe on Jesus. Now, they were wrong. A lot of people will believe in Jesus because of the miracles. But the reality is the miracles only attracted people to him. All right. And now John 12, 12 through 19. For this cause, the people also met him for that they had heard that he had done this miracle. Now, these were the people who heard that he rose Lazarus from the dead. So they said, oh, let's go out. Let's go out. Let's go see who Jesus is. Now, in John 12, 12, the Bible in 13, 14, they were screaming, Hosanna. You know, blessed is the king of Israel that comes in the name of the Lord and all of that. Right. Giving him these shouts of praise and worship. Right. Now, these same people who gave him shouts of praise and worship and glory were the same people who shouted crucify him. When the Pharisees convinced them he needed to die for being blasphemous, the same people who praised him shouted crucify him. Now, they were present amongst him, praising him and showing up around him because he was doing miracles. The Bible says they heard that he rose Lazarus from the grave. So they said, man, let's go check this out. That's like what's going on in the cities right now. Oh, there's all these burned down buildings. Let's go check the city out. People driving from Canada, Michigan, Florida. They want to go check out this stuff. People attract to things. So they were attracted to the miracles that Jesus was doing. But being attracted to something doesn't make you have faith in something. A lot of people are attracted to the burnt down and destruction that's going on in my city right now, but they don't have faith in actually what the movement is about systemic change. And it's the same thing with Jesus. People got attracted to him healing people. They got attracted to him raising people from the grave. They got attracted to him feeding 5,000 plus the women and the children with only a few loaves of bread and some fish. That attracted them and made them go and say, who is this Jesus guy? It was attracting to them, but not all of them believed. And a lot of them turn their backs on him. So miracles are great. I love miracles. I've had some. I'm not against them. But what I'm saying is the miracles will attract you to Jesus Christ. But in order for you to have faith and believe, that's where you have to read verses 37 through 50. Jesus said, if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words hath one that judges him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Romans 10, 17 says, now faith comes by hearing and by he and hearing by the word of God. A miracle is the attraction. But then when you show up to the attraction, now you have to listen to what Jesus said. People came because of what Jesus was doing. And what did Jesus do every time he did a miracle? He then spoke. He spoke parables and he spoke to the people because Jesus knew I'm going to attract you with the miracle because I know your nature as a man, as a woman, as a person. I know your nature. So when I attract you with the miracle, then I'm going to turn around and speak the word because the word is what's life giving and what gives edification and what gives faith. It's the word. The miracle is just the part to get you in the door. But the word is the part that's going to come and split you down in the soul and down in the spirit and is going to convict you. You, it's going to be the word and make you understand that you need Jesus. The word is going to make you know I need to believe in him because of what is being said. Miracles attract, but they don't build or bring faith. Miracles attract, 
but they don't make you believe. Always remember that. Get in the word and know the word. Learn the word. Talk to God. Get in relationship with him. That'll help you to believe and it'll grow your belief. God bless you. Love you in Jesus name. Amen.